Russia planned to kill the CEO of Rheinmetall of Germany. The USA and Germany foiled a Russian plot to assassinate Armin Papega, the general director of the German company Rheinmetall, which supplies weapons to Ukraine. According to CNN, citing American and Western officials, American intelligence learned about Russia's plans to kill Papega at the beginning of this year. According to the sources, the conspiracy was one of a series of Russian plans to assassinate defense industry leaders across Europe who supported Ukraine's military actions. The plan to assassinate Armin Paperga was the most elaborate, the newspaper writes. It is noted that the Americans informed Germany about the preparation of the murder, whose security services were able to protect Paperga and foil the plot. A senior German government official confirmed that Berlin had been warned by the US about the plot. For more than six months, Russia had been conducting a sabotage campaign across Europe, from setting fire to warehouses with weapons for Ukraine to minor acts of vandalism to prevent the flow of weapons from the West to Ukraine. But intelligence that Russia is ready to kill private individuals underscored for Western officials just how far Moscow is willing to go in its shadow war. CNN notes, according to the publication, it is unclear whether Russia intended to kill Papaga directly or hire a local intermediary. Ukrainian defense industry and the global defense giant Rheinmetall launched the first workshop for the repair and production of armored vehicles in Ukraine as part of a joint venture. German combat vehicles are already being restored in Ukraine. This is happening within the framework of a joint venture with the German concern Rheinmetall. Further development and deepening of cooperation are also planned. In the short term, move to the repair of artillery systems. Russia's interference in election harms Biden and helps Trump, U.S. intelligence warns. Russia, which is looking for ways to boost the candidacy of former President Donald Trump by discrediting the campaign of current President Joe Biden, is using a familiar scheme to try to change the outcome of the upcoming U.S. presidential election, according to U.S. intelligence officials. A new assessment of threats to the November election released does not name either candidate. However, an intelligence official told reporters that the Kremlin's view of the U.S. political landscape has not changed since previous election cycles. The official agreed to discuss the intelligence information only on condition of anonymity. The advantage was reinforced by the U.S. role in Ukraine and the broader policy toward Russia. The official said, the warning from U.S. intelligence officials comes nearly four years after a similar warning about the 2020 presidential election pitting then-President Trump against Biden. William Evanina, the former head of the U.S. National Counterintelligence and Security Center, said at the time that Moscow was using a series of measures primarily to smear former Vice President Biden and what it sees as an anti-Russian establishment. Some actors connected to the Kremlin are also trying to promote the candidacy of President Trump on social media and on Russian television, he added. A non-confidential post-election assessment released in March 2021 reaffirmed the initial results. The report said that Russian President Vladimir Putin, while offering support to Trump, allowed influence operations aimed at discrediting the candidacy of President Biden and the Democratic Party. U.S. intelligence officials said they contacted both presidential campaigns and candidates, but declined to share what kind of information was shared. The Trump campaign dismissed the U.S. intelligence assessment as out of date. Vladimir Putin endorsed Joe Biden for president because he knows Biden is weak and easily bullied, National Press Secretary Caroline Leavitt said to Voice of America. Russian efforts are also aimed at targeting U.S. voters in states that could influence the outcome of the presidential election, the officials said. Some of these attempts have already come to light. 